Take me to the river. Ah, baby. Wash me down. Won't you cleanse my soul? And put my feet on the ground. Yeah. Good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I thought I'd let y'all know that I am alive and well. And um, I missed y'all. And I'm sure, well, at least I hope, that you missed me just a little bit. And with that being said, family, let me try to see who is trying to contact me. Um, with that being said, y'all, let me um get into this video right here because it kind of disturbed me and uh, a little bit because a lot of times we know stuff before other people do. We just don't share it. So I was going to share a little something, something that, um, you know, I don't know if it's a premonition or if he just started to get the jump start on what it is. Uh, oh, that's Boston. What is going on? Oh. Anyways, y'all, let me get to this this story because this story is kind of important. And I just wanted y'all to know that I was still alive. <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm doing okay. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, so I thought I'd just show my face today and let y'all know that all is well. And bring this story to you because this story to me is... um. Like I said, is it a premonition? But whatever it is, we already know. Okay. Um, and it says, um, Morbid Mike Tyson says his death is coming really soon as boxing legend reveals why he and his wife fight over money and security after he dies, despite the fact that he's a multimillionaire. Boxing icon Mike Tyson has declared his death is imminent in a morbid podcast. A former heavyweight champion also discussed his supposed money troubles. Iron Mike 56 is widely regarded as one of the most ferocious competitors that the uh, boxing world has ever seen. So boxing legend Mike Tyson believes his death is coming really soon and has revealed his money struggles with his wife, despite being a multimillionaire. Speaking on this podcast, hot boxer with Mike Tyson, the former heavyweight champion, told trauma and addiction therapist Sean McFarland that he feels his time is almost up. We all going to die one day, of course. Then when I look in the mirror and I see those little spots on my face, I say, wow, that means my expiration date is coming really soon. In what was a morbid conversation, Tyson went on to state money doesn't mean shit to me and that it offers a false sense of security. I always tell people they think money is going to make them happy. They're never ha they've never had money before. Because, see, when you've had a lot of money, you can't expect nobody to love you. You believe that you're invincible when you have a lot of money, which really isn't true. Tyson also said he has conversation with his third wife, Lakia, uh, Lakia Spicer, uh, after she states money will provide her with the long-term security when he dies. 
What exactly is security, he asked. I don't know. When you put money in your bank account and you get a check every week and you can live off of it the rest of your life, is that security? Uh, it doesn't mean you won't catch a disease or get hit by a car. Can money secure you when you jump off a bridge? Tyson had his first professional bout in 1985, beating Hector Mercedes at the age of just 18. Um, Iron Mike quickly gained reputation for his ferocious and intimidating style and was the first heavyweight boxer to simultaneously hold a WBA, WBC, and the IBF titles, as well as being the only heavyweight fighter to unify them in one succession. He served three years in jail for rape of a teenager, Desiree Washington, in July of 1991 and declared himself bankrupt in 2003, despite earning over $30 million for several fights and $300 million over his career. Tyson also is famous, infamous, I should say, for biting the ear off of Evander Holyfield, and the chomp was so severe enough to uh, sever a piece of his ear, which was found in the floor ring after the fight in Vegas. Those are his claim to fame, according to uh, the Daily Mail magazine. But he says that he feels that his uh, life may be over with soon. What y'all think? Y'all think uh, people that are going to pass away have a, a pre-notion that it's going to happen soon? when it really is, or whether it is, or whether it's not. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I personally feel that um, you get that mechanism. I know my brother had it. And, um, you know, he kept talking about, you know, uh, if something happened to him, blah, 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 and it's something, and it's like, when somebody talk like that, you want to, first thing you want to do is make sure uh, is all your paperwork straight? Um, because sometimes you do get a premonition. It's important that you pay attention to it. Okay. Y'all leave y'all thoughts below. And uh, glad to let y'all see I'm still here. And I'm glad that you're still there. And I'll see you in the next video.